we are going to go shiny Pokemon hunting. If you guys are familiar with the the concept of shiny Pokemon, basically it's a, a Pokemon with a different shade of its original color, right? Or its normal color. In the Pokemon games themselves, it's a very low chance of you finding one in the wild. And actually people do to certain certain mechanics, right? Or certain uh, techniques, they go about shiny hunting. We don't have to do that crazy shenanigans here, uh, but I do actually do, I want a Rawls at least in a Riolu, so whatever gets the chances of that going up, actually Snorlax looks as, cool as well. Um, whatever gets us those cards, I would like to do because those cards look pretty damn neat in my opinion. They're not that expensive either. The, the ones that are doing the most work in the market right now are to no one's shock charmander charizard and uh charmeleon uh but let's see uh i mean this booklet doesn't really tell us much and i don't want to go through oh gengar's in here that's pretty dope i really don't want to go in through the whole feel here we already it's a it's an etb we know what's in here right we get the the counters or the the little uh, I don't know what you would call these, actually. Uh, some dice. The packaging, I think, is different, though. And then we get... Uh, ooh, these look pretty nice. Some sleeves of Mimikyu and a promo card that you guys can snag. Even the promo cards are different, actually. That's interesting. And uh, what else do we get? I think we, we should get a promo. We got the dividers that I actually do use quite a bit. And then Mimikyu is our promo very fitting because it's a mini cube box and then the packs are in here so they definitely did switch it up which is kind of nice i guess is it still eight packs though or was it nine packs actually i don't even know one two three four five six seven eight nine all right nine packs and we are in so we're gonna go ahead and start our shiny hunting and hopefully we do get ralts or riolu or both because those guys are adorable um i don't really care about going for value this time i just kind of want to pull what i want right anyway so the dean noibat chimeco we got a ghastly the backpack there <laughs> dora's backpack uh what do we got a paldean whooper a fido and oh we're starting off strong here with a trainer what's her name nimona nimana i think this is the new rival but i haven't played the games so i really don't even know it looks like it's the rival i'm curious how hard these shiny cards are going to be and if they're going to be in place of the rare or are they going to be in place of the reverse hollow because if it's the reverse hollow i guess we have a higher chance of pulling them since there are more reverse hollows per pack but we shall see we got manky manky reverse hollow Another Flittle. Oh, no. We got Fido. Uh, now we got a Flittle. And Professor's Research. Professor Sada. So, are there two Professors now in the in the new games? Are, depending on the version, do you get one Professor? Or are there just two Professors in general? I really don't understand the new games. Maybe I should play them, but they look boring. <laughs> If I'm going to be completely honest, they're just, they're just too easy, and they just look boring. Haunter. The biggest mistake they did, I feel, is that um, the the zone where, where all the Pokemon are, I don't like that. I, I really just do not like that. We got Charmeleon, hell yeah, a Rubber Vroom, and oh, look at that, Charizard EX. Is this the most expensive car? I don't think it is. I mean, it, it, it is, I think, but not in this variant. It, I'm pretty sure it is a Charizard EX, but in like an alternate art uh, form. But this might still be pretty decent, so I'll leave it right over there. I mean, any Charizard is usually uh, some kind of value, you know? Charmeleon, Charmander, Charizard. The, Char the Zard line is usually uh, value. Pikachu, P Pikachu, there's a Pikachu shiny in here that's actually holding some value. So, um, again, I don't want to go for value, though. I want to go for stuff that I like. Lapras, hell yeah. We got a, who? Pelafin. Isn't this the 
the starter, the final evolution of the starter. The the starters also don't do it for me, you know, in this generation. But again, I'm not playing it, so uh, I, st I I guess I'm I've outgrown the games. But even Ar Legends Arceus was pretty fun. I thought I wouldn't enjoy it because it's more open world that I'm used to. I don't like open world games, um, but it was actually really fun, and the concept was good. That that is a good game or a good contender for an open world uh, game. But when you mix it, oh, ditto. So they do take the place of the, uh, what's it called? The reverse owl. That's awesome. Ditto. This is actually pretty nice. I, I, I will take it. Ditto and Mew. That, that's correct. Mew and Ditto are both blue. And I mean, now that I think of it, maybe we should try to pull a Mew. Isn't that like a, the second most expensive card in this set? I think it is. In maybe it's like an alternate art, and maybe that's why it's more expensive. But uh, hell yeah, dude! Our first shiny. That is awesome. Then a Cyclazar. That's pretty dope. So, I mean, we'll see if it actually is uh, every Reverse Hollow that has the potential of being a shiny, because that will increase our odds uh, immensely. It's going to be two instead of one per pack odds that uh, we pull a shiny then. Curlia, is that a sign that we're going to get Ralts? Oh, oh, that was a different kind of sign. Gardevoir EX. I, the reason I like the, the Ralts line is, I guess, because they're blue. Look at that. It's a, it's a blue city. But uh, hell yeah. I don't know how much this is, but I, I think I'm going to keep it. Just because, uh, I mean, Gardevoir isn't my favorite. The reason I personally like Ralts is because of Gardevoir. And I don't know if there's going to be a guard of war, a shiny guard of war in here. So I'll just take the, uh, the wait, hang on. What, what was I saying? Guard of war? No, not guard of war. What's, what's the final evolution? Uh, oh man, I'm blanking on it, but Galad, that's what it is. Not, not guard of war, but uh, I will take it nonetheless. I think even Galad is blue though. I think. Hell Yeah. I mean, we're, we're getting some pretty decent, decent pulls. Chimeco, we got a Ghastly. Look at that. I really hope we get we can get a, a Shiny Gengar in here. Lantern, Oink, Loin. Is this one of the starters? It kind of feels like it is, but I really don't remember. Clive, another Shiny. Uh, who? Glamette? And you know what? I, I don't think that every single Reverse Hollow has the possibility of being shiny because I've noticed that every first Reverse Hollow is being replaced by a shiny. So it's probably not both. It's just the first Reverse Hollow that has the possibility of being a shiny. But we also got a Gold, gold Dingo. Doesn't even look like a Pokemon. So that's the other reason I really don't like the new generation. It's just a lot of the Pokemon don't. Even the Paradox forms. They just don't make sense some, some of the time. Uh, like, what do they do to to the dogs, the legendary dogs? I have no idea what they're even going for there. They just don't look like Pokemon. They look really goofy. Gengar. Gengar looks awesome. That artwork is pretty dope. They they really do. Uh, you know, like, like Gengar fame is kind of mischievous. It has that mischievousness in the art there. We got a TM, Crisis Crunch. And, hey, look at that, Wigglytuff EX. Is this a, sh yeah, this is a shiny. I think if, if it has a star, that's a shiny. And that's really how you can tell as well in the game. So, hell yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. I don't know how easy these are to get, though. I feel like they're going to be easy to get if I keep pulling them. But I could just be getting lucky here. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so, Ralts would be nice. Riolu would be nice. Or a Mew. I will also wouldn't mind a Mew and, you know, complete this blue blue set of Pokemon here. So much blue. So much awesomeness. Prime Ape. Prime Ape. We got a Noibad, unfortunately. I don't think we're getting anything in this one. No. Revavroom is the last card here. So, I mean, you know, it, it sucks going out on a on a downer, but there's so many good cards that uh, we pulled, or at least actually, I don't, I, I can't call them good, but they look cool. Ditto and Gardevoir are definitely my favorites, 
We also pulled a Charizard, I suppose, and Palafin. I have, I still, I don't know. That that might be the final evolution of a starter, but I will take these two any day. Catch you guys in the next one.